นะโมตัสสะภะคะวะโตอะระหะโตสัมมาสัมพุทธัสสะ May I pay my homage to the Buddha, the enlightened one, the blessed one. ขอเจริญสุขสวัสดีท่านญาติโยมผู้ที่ได้เข้ามาร่วมสวดมนต์ตอนเย็นแล้วก็ได้ร่วมเจริญภาวนาในหัวคำวันนี้ทุกๆท,ท่าน Venerable monks and friends in the Dharma of the So the minutes chanting. So now it's time for all of us to meditate. So when we say, "I do meditation," you might think that we simply close your eyes and sit still. But in fact, according to Buddhist teaching. Meditation practice is not only to do sitting. We can apply Buddhist meditation in our daily life, but the reason why we sit still is that, and we try to see through how the mind is working. We try to see. The nature of the mind. Meditation practice itself is something to do with the mind. So we train the mind in order to see in through this mind, or in order to see the things as they really are. Whenever we have time for meditation, either in the morning or in the evening, when you sit down, at first, you may find it very difficult to find concentration, to establish mindfulness. Many meditators. Are not happy with that practice simply because they can't concentrate very well. They can't focus the mind on the meditation's object. For instance, you are told by the master to observe. Rising and falling, but for the beginner, and not only for the beginners, but also for the experienced meditators, the method is difficult at first to find concentration, to see rising and falling continuously. Meditators are always distracted. By the thought, by some other thing, the sound. When we go to look at the Mahasadi Badana Sutta, that is course on mindfulness, or the great mindfulness, then we will come to understand. That mindfulness is in fact based on four foundations. This means we can develop mindfulness through four foundations: the foundation of body, or have body as the foundation, as we call it. กายานุปัสสนาสติปัฏฐาน
the mind feels the body or the contemplation of the body. And then feeling, Vedana, or Vedana Nupasana Satipatthan, to be mindful of our own sensation, of our feeling. So whatever we feel, even at this very present moment, we acknowledge it. Sometimes you may be distracted by pain, by numbness, by uncomfortable seated position. Simply observe that feeling. When you feel happy, when you feel very comfortable, acknowledge it as well. So when we try to be aware of the sensation, and this means we practice the mindfulness of feeling, or Vedana Nupasana Satipatthan. In the Mahasatipatthana Sutta, there are different kinds of Vedana, or feeling. But I just would like to brief them in five kinds. Physical, pleasant feeling. Physical and pleasant feeling. Mental, pleasant feeling. Mental and pleasant feeling. And neutral feeling. So whenever any of these feelings occurs or arises, so as a meditator, we just acknowledge it. Sometimes you feel neither pleasant nor unpleasant. So simply acknowledge it as it is. Perhaps you don't know how to name it. You don't know how to label it. Just acknowledge it as it is by saying or by noting in the mind, knowing, knowing, knowing. When you say knowing, knowing, the mind from this time. And then we move on to observe the mindfulness of mind. When we say the mindfulness of mind or the contemplation of mind, we focus on the mind. And now we know our mind is with concentration, our mind is with or without concentration, or am I with restlessness, distraction, we know that state of the mind. It's by observing it that now what happens in the mind. And the last one, Tamma Nupasana Satipatthana, or the mindfulness of mind object. We observe the object or the mental activities. It may be easier for meditators to begin with the five hindrances or Nivarana Dhamma. These five hindrances are regarded as obstacles for doing good. But as a meditator, the fine runs can be taken as meditation object. So this means we can make use of the fine runs. Whenever there is sensual desire, you acknowledge that desire. Naming it, acknowledge it, try to understand its true nature until it's gone. And whenever ill will or hatred arises, it's acknowledge it. When you feel very tired, when you feel exhausted, when you feel lazy, when you feel sleepy. 
in anthology as well. Quite often, meditators feel very lazy. Or we call it dina mita in Pali, or slow and torpor. So whenever dina mita arise in our mind, we simply acknowledge it. And now that we know, we feel lazy. We feel drowsiness. We feel that we have no energy. So acknowledge it. And then, very often, the meditators we have distraction or restlessness or agitation, and this is very common for all meditators. Although you have been practicing meditation for several years, it doesn't guarantee that your meditation practice will go smoothly. You can you will practice without distraction. So as long as you do not attain the hundredship or the high sanctity, the first state of enlightenment, it is inevitable to be distracted. So as an ordinary person, we sometimes have. Good concentration. We sometimes are distracted. This is very normal. But the meditators can take advantage of distraction by observing it. Distraction, distraction, distraction. Use it as meditation object. So, in conclusion, whatever happens during our practice. Can be taken as meditation object, but please remember that in order to develop our practice, we need to rely on the primary object. At the same time, and if you have distraction or any kinds of mental activities. Which are regarded as secondary object, then you ignore the primary object and go to observe the secondary object instead. The technique to deal with secondary object is to observe it, acknowledge it, and then let it go. Do not stay with it until it is gone. We do not observe it in order to make it go away, but the purpose of doing this is to understand when it comes and goes. So our duty is to see when the distraction, when the secret object comes and goes. When it's gone, and then we come to realize that this signifies impermanence. This choice. The transcendence. In this way, we will develop more and more understanding about the universal truth or the universal law that is the three characteristics of existence or the lakana: impermanence, anicca, unsatisfactoriness, dukkha. And selflessness, or non-substantiality, anatta. It may be easy for ordinary people to say impermanence in their daily life, but that is not real wisdom. We say it. But we do not really see it. We just see it as a part of our life, but we do not really realize it. Through meditation practice, 
we will see in detail, so we will see in more detail, we will see in the sense of true understanding. So having really understood the impermanence, it helps. It helps you to learn to let go. When you come to realize that this is the way things are, and then you learn to let go. When you let go, the degree of suffering also subsides. So as long as we understand the impermanence, our degree of suffering is not as much as those who never learned the three characteristics of existence. So meditation will help us this way. And the most important thing for meditator is we have to practice regularly. And I would like to encourage all of you to continue practicing even though you have some five to ten minutes a day, that is good enough. And another way to keep meditation practice continuous is to be aware, to be mindful of daily activities. Whatever you do, you try to be mindful. And even when you are driving a car, when you are cleaning the house, and when you do jogging in the morning, when you're cooking in the kitchen, it's even when you are eating or drinking. So simply acknowledge or try to be aware of your action, of your movement. Do not create tensions when you practice. The meditator choose feel relaxed and relieved. And if you create tension, you will feel uncomfortable and that is not the right way. Meditation choose give you relaxation and relief or release. You feel that you release yourself from uncomfortable feeling, from stress, from any kind of uncomfortable feeling, then you feel free. It will be like you have been carrying something on your shoulder and you're carrying this thing or like a stone and keep walking. And finally, when you reach your destination, then just put it down. So when you put it down, we feel free and relieved. Meditation will help us this way. So we just keep practicing, choose <clears throat> any of the four foundations of mindfulness, body, feeling, mind and mind object. And how we choose any of four foundations. And this depends on what happens at that moment. For example, now when we sit, we observe rising and falling. Rising and falling is in fact the outcome of the air element. When you breathe in and breathe out. When you breathe in, you see rising. When you breathe out, you see falling. So the air element is one of the four elements. It's a part of our body. And then when you have any kind of feeling, pleasant, unpleasant, neutral, acknowledge it. You are practicing the mindfulness of feeling. When you observe the mind or the state of the mind, sometimes you feel very good, sometimes you feel sad, but observe the mind, not the mental activity. Then you practice the mindfulness of mind. Then when you observe any mental activities, or as we call it, mind object, 
the fine grasses, for example, when any of them occurs, we just acknowledge it. A speculative distraction or drowsiness, you may have anxiety, you may have doubt. So whenever one or five hindrances arises, so as a meditator we just acknowledge it. Three times, distraction, distraction, then let it go. And bring the mind back to rising and falling again. And if we keep practicing this way, and then we will be able to make some progress in our practice. We will know that we make some progress when we see some change in our life, when we see some change in our practice. You become calmer. You have the wider opinion, the wider viewpoint. The attitude towards the, the world or towards other people is more positive. And you can feel this happiness that occurs within yourself. So as we chant Pajatang Ve Tittapo in Pali, which means the dumb experience has to be achieved by you yourself, as by the individual. When you experience it, you know it you're by yourself. Okay, for tonight's talk, I hope it will inspire you to keep practicing. It may give you some idea, some information about meditation practice. So please continue sitting until you hear the bowl.